Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and this is our second video for React JS with the Progressive Web App. So in the previous video, we learned that service worker are the backbone of the Progressive Web App. So we are going to focus on the service worker in this video. So first of all, we will learn what is a service worker, and then we have to make an HTML page, and we will I will just tell you that what is the live server and why we required it with the Progressive Web App. Then we will make a file for the service worker, and we will see the a small example of the service worker and in this video we are not going to include the react because this is only a core service worker uh, video so that you can just get to know how it's actually work right so now the question is what is the service worker so service worker is simply a script that is running in the background of a browser so what is the meaning of running in a background that means uh, if you are working on uh, your front end like uh, you are just filling any form you are just clicking on somewhere then it's not going to interrupt your work it will just uh, kind of slip mode in the background and it will just automatically sync with your server or that whatever you want with the uh, service worker all right and i will show you that how it's actually working in the uh, background then now let's uh, make a small html page so i'm just going to make index.html and let's make one more file with the same time which is a service worker dot js right so that we can use it in the coming example after that i just told you that uh, okay so just write some html code here just right here head and inside the head let's make a title tag and in the title we can just write here service worker example and here just add a body tag and we can just write the script tag oh. great and uh, here we will write the very small example of the service worker so now let's come on the next point what is the uh, live server so one point that you have to keep in mind when we are working with the service worker the extension uh, Sorry, this is not the extension. This is the request. So your request should be start with the HTTP or HTTPS. Otherwise, your service worker is going to work. All right. That's why we will use the live extension. What exactly do when you just run your page HTML page with the uh, open with live server? Then you will see that uh, this is making an HTTP request. All right, and this is perfect for. Uh, making a, a progressive web app and working with the server right so how we can install it and how we can use it for that you have to go in the uh, extension and just simply write here live server so there is a lots of the plugins and the extension that you can use uh, but i'm just going to recommend you the live server because this is very simple and pretty and it's very easy to use so you will find here install button you have to just install it and you can restart your uh, chrome sorry your uh, visual studio code right and after that it will just work simply like this and it will provide a port to your html page that's great now let's see that how we can just uh, make an example of uh, service worker so service worker is basically present inside the i'm just going to tell you that here present inside the navigator all right so just right here and just right if you just write here navigator dot service worker you can present here all right but in some browsers like uh, old internet explorer you are not able to find navigate dot service worker and in these kind of browser we uh, we cannot simply uh, use the service worker and the pw website also all right so when we are just making it always we have to check that in our current browser or we, our page service worker is available or not all right that's why we always use here if service worker uh, you can just simply write here service service worker in navigator all right so if this is present then we can use here if condition else we will show him an error message like else console 
dot error or console dot log whatever you just want to put uh, service worker not working or something right and here we can just write here navigator dot service worker dot register and here we can just pass here our file path which is the service worker and we can use here then and basically uh, this isn't promise that's why we have to use an arrow function and then and just rise here resp that is this is response and just simply write here console dot won resp all right and uh, if we get some error then we can just write here catch and for the catch we can also make uh, console dot error and we can just put here e which we get from the uh, catch function right and now let's see and here we can just simply write here console dot one code is ready to work great so now let's come here and uh, just clear it out now let's make it refresh now you can see that okay i think there is some problem with okay i just have to write here dot w.js right now you can see that our resp is working here you can see that it's, it's completely fine everything is coming here and don't worry about this complete object we will understand it in the upcoming videos right and now let's try to open their application and here you will find that uh, there is some eight errors so let's uh, unregister it and uh, you can just refresh it once again and now you will find that this file is uh, working fine and uh, for a moment there is no console and when you are just going to start and stop it right just going to start it then you will find that the code is a code is ready to work which is here is working right that means this is completely working in the background right so this is a small example of the service worker here you can see that so if you still have any, any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video because in the upcoming videos we will learn a great thing which is the progressive web app with the react chess so bye bye take care